the views are out of this world. This thing is unbelievable. It sounds incredible. Golly gee, everybody. Look at that. I'm gonna pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. If things go wrong, we can knock it down. My three words have two meanings, but there's one thing on my this season, we've shown you a lot of electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles, and we hope that you've enjoyed it and learned a thing or two about the future. But I get it, this new world of automotive, it's different and can be overwhelming for some. So if you're not ready to take that leap to a full electric car, then we have the answer. We get asked the question a lot at Drive, are hybrid vehicles still relevant? Well, if you're not ready to take that leap to a full electric vehicle, but you want the efficiency and flexibility, then a hybrid might just be that sweet spot for you. And for this road trip, we've got one. This is the Lexus RX a handsome looking luxurious SUV. This one here is the flagship of the range, the RX 500H F Sport Performance, and is packed with plenty of kit, getting by LED three projector headlights with auto high beams and washers, 360 degree surround view camera, variable suspension damping for a more pleasant ride, a head up display, heated ventilated front seats, 21 speaker premium audio, and wireless smartphone charger, just to name a few. This spec looks even cooler, finished with black F-Sport exterior badging, front and rear F-Sport bumpers with piano black inserts, black window surrounds, piano black inner side mirror garnish, and F-Sport floor mats. The Lexus RX 500h F-Sport Performance packs a 273-kilowatt, 2.4-litre turbocharged four-cylinder engine with two electric motors. The RX is built atop a new vehicle platform shared with cars like the smaller Lexus NX and Toyota Kluger. It's premium, spacious, and I think it's a fitting choice for this journey. Fitting because we've got a luxury car heading to a premium location. It all starts here at Evans Head, and the final destination is a popular coastal town in New South Wales. And it's only about an hour away. Lexus is a very thoughtful brand, and I'll tell you why. One of their fundamentals is called omatenashi. That's a Japanese word, and the meaning is anticipating your hospitality. So you'll see some thoughtful touches all throughout the cabin, including this right here. This is a dual height cup holder. So if you did have something larger with a handle, then it will fit with no problem. It's all about anticipating your needs. Very thoughtful indeed. So let the road trip begin. We actually grabbed our Lexus from the Gold Coast, headed down to Evans Head to begin this journey. And then we're driving to Ballina, and the final destination, I'm not gonna give it away as yet, but the final destination is not just one of the best beach locations in New South Wales, but in Australia. Now, yes, we're going to take in some of the beauty of the beaches, but we're also going to get a beautiful drive through the hinterland.
So as I've mentioned, we have a hybrid. This here is the Lexus RX 500H, and I'm sure you've seen the RX out on the road before. Now, fun fact, this was actually, the RX was the very first model hybridized by the brand. And it was also the very first luxury SUV to hit the market. So this here is the OG. Now it looks great, it's comfortable, and I really think it's going to enjoy the route that we've mapped out for it. You know how, don't start caring about me now. Aren't you the guy who tried to... Nearly half of Lexus cars sold in Australia last year included some form of electrification, 46% to be exact, and they are popular for a good reason. They've been around for such a long time developing these hybrid powertrains that they are reliable, they are trusted, and I couldn't think of a better example to show you a bit more of a glimpse into hybrids. Ballina sits where the Richmond River meets the Pacific Ocean, famously remembered on many road trips for being home of the Big Prawn. The town is home to one of the country's best naval and maritime museums, and plenty of 19th century public buildings. If you're driving through Ballina, you surely won't miss this. This is the Big Prawn, constructed in 1989 to pay honour to the local prawn industry. It is nine metres tall, weighs about 32 tonnes, and it's so popular that people have actually written books about it. The weather hasn't been so kind to us today, so we're gonna get out of this weather and head indoors for something to eat. Guess what's on the menu? If you are visiting Ballina, then be sure to make the most of their great dining experiences. I'm currently at the Cove soaking up their beautiful local produce. Now this area is known for its prawning industry, but apparently the indigenous name for Ballina means the place where oysters are plentiful. Sounds like my kind of place. Let's get back to that question about hybrids. Are hybrid cars still relevant? Well, I've already said that they are, but in Australia, even more so, they really make a lot of sense. If you don't wanna worry about charging stations, but you still wanna do longer trips, so you want the flexibility and the efficiency, then something like this would really be up your alley, especially if you want something premium. But if you are after something premium and fully electric, then Lexus has the answer. The Lexus RZ450e is a mid-size SUV, the brand's first dedicated electric vehicle and the second electric car in the Lexus lineup, following on from the UX300e small SUV, which is based on the petrol-powered UX. The RZ450e scores a 71.4 kilowatt hour battery, which powers two electric motors, one at the rear axle and one at the front. It boasts a combined power output of 230 kilowatts which is deployed to an all-wheel drive system. The RZ will roughly run 450 kilometers on a single charge. Looks-wise, it looks, well, like a Lexus. It's got sharp lines, a closed-off spindle grill, and in keeping with the brand's current design language, it gets a full-width light bar in the rear. Size-wise, the RZ fits between the NX and RX. But back to the task at hand. When you're piloting a car like this one, you know that it's going to feel luxurious and that it's going to be comfortable and packed with features, which of course this car is. And Lexus is known for their refinement. It is indeed a refined car. It also has a rear steering system. So that means that at lower speeds, you get tighter turns and then at higher speed, you get enhanced stability. This car packs a 2.4-litre turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine. It's got two electric motors and performance numbers 273 kilowatts and 551 newton metres. That makes it the most powerful hybrid sold by the brand in Australia.
This drive really has been incredible. You can always research it on Google Maps, but it's always best to head out and see it in person. There's been some wide sweeping bends, some amazing scenery, a bit of country, a bit of city. So it really has had the perfect combination. And I think the best part about this road trip is that there's been a lot of straight runs as well. So it gave me time to get to know my Lexus, but also to take in the amazing scenery. If you are heading this way, then you cannot go past our final stop. It's none other than Byron Bay. The indigenous name for Byron Bay actually means meeting place. Now I'm not going there to meet anyone, but I don't need to. I'm going to be in Byron Bay, a premium car for a premium destination. And because I have a Lexus, I'm going to be looked after. Byron Bay is a beachside town located in the far northeast corner of New South Wales. It's almost 800 kilometres north of Sydney and 165 kilometres south of Brisbane. If you're visiting, you might want to get to Cape Byron, a headland adjacent to the town. It's the easternmost point of mainland Australia. The first industry in Byron Bay was cedar logging from the Australian red cedar. The next was gold mining. Gold was discovered in Byron Bay in 1870. Today, Byron Bay is one of the most upmarket residential areas on the Australian east coast full of multi-million dollar mansions. It's renowned for its incredible beaches, rainforest hinterland, creative community and innovative food culture. A short and pretty stint and we've arrived in Byron Bay. Thankfully, the weather is finally starting to improve. Now, if you didn't know this already, Byron Bay is on the forefront of sustainability. They're doing their bit to promote and encourage a butt-free, plastic-free environment, among many other things. Something else cool is that you won't find fast food here because the community is band together to make sure that there are no golden arches in this area. I mentioned earlier that because I'm driving this car, I'll be looked after. That's all thanks to the Lexus Owner Benefits Program known as Lexus Encore. Lexus Encore provides Lexus customers with luxurious lifestyle offers and complimentary benefits. And there are different tiers depending on the car you own. With my RX, I get access to exclusive rewards, exclusive events, and even fuel offers, just to name a few. One big advantage that will come in handy right now though, is the fact that I'm in Byron Bay, because this is where you'll find one of the most exclusive boutique hotels in the town and one of the most iconic in Australia, Rays on Water Goes, which is a Lexus partner hotel. In addition to luxurious standard rate inclusions, you receive the VIP treatment from get-go, including hotel transfers, if you're not on a road trip, a welcome platter, and something I'll certainly take full advantage of is the late checkout. This all links back to what I spoke to about earlier, one of the brand's core values, Omotenashi, where excellence in customer and guest services is a matter of pride. I can't wait to check in. Ray's is a place of class. Every inch has been tailored to please the eye. Don't believe me? Well, have a look at this. Have a look at this suite. This is one of five suites and there are also two penthouses on the property. With very few guests, there'll be no issue getting a pool chair and your stay will be a peaceful one. The striking white villa lies on Watergoes Beach and was originally constructed in the 1960s as a kiosk. In the 1970s, the property converted into a restaurant and private home, and rumour has it, Salvatore Dali designed the tropical garden and pool. The Catalano family took over in 2014. They enlisted well-known interior designer Tasman Johnson and gave it a rebirth. It truly is a stunning place to dine, sleep, relax and repeat and it's going to be hard to check out. 
but a good sleep is a must. I have one place left on the list and it's a must see in this region. Welcome to The Farm, a collection of micro businesses all with the same goal, to promote a healthier lifestyle and just to do good in general for the environment. This place has everything from a nursery and bakery to a restaurant and farm animals. It really is a one-stop shop of Byron Bay. The farm boasts 15 different businesses running together. So a day out on the farm will mean you can shop at the bakery buy local produce at the produce store, eat a meal at Three Blue Ducks, purchase fresh flowers at the florist. Perhaps you want to learn skills for down-to-earth living. Well, you can book into a workshop. Or you might even want to jump on horseback for an educational tour. You can do that too. Honestly, it has everything and we could have explored all day long. Josh, this place really is something else. Can you describe how you managed to turn a small veggie patch into almost 100 acres with pretty much everything? Oh, well, it's been a journey, I tell you that. It's quite an amazing journey from a little veggie patch up in the hills to this is, um, yeah, overwhelming at times. But, yeah, it's, it's turned into something bigger than we ever imagined with the um, people just keep coming. It's about friends and families and kids seeing how food is growing from the paddock to their plate. The Grow Feed Educate is a, it's a mixture of people coming together to grow food for a restaurant, but in, in the ethos of that is teaching kids about farming and growing. And then we've also got incubator programs where we give young farmers land to have a, a play and grow food and learn how to grow food. And then kids club programs through the holidays for kids to come and pick food and they cook with it. And that's an amazing program in itself, teaching people what real food's about. But no, basically everything's here. We've got 15 different businesses all running together to make it all happen. And it's an amazing family, we call it, where we all come together and produce amazing food for the chefs at the Blue Ducks to keep everyone with delicious food on their plates. Josh, congratulations on what you've created here. I cannot wait to explore a bit more. Yeah, thanks for coming, mate. It's been exciting. Have a good one. Hooroo. Hooroo. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you heard that? <laughs> from the farm gate to the place, from the coast to the farm itself, we hope that you've enjoyed seeing some of the beauty that this region has to offer. And hopefully we've taught you a thing or two of what it's like on a road trip with a hybrid vehicle. Answering that question as to whether or not hybrids are relevant. Well, with the RX, we got a bit of everything. Great drivability, luxury, and we're yet to fill up the tank. So that is real world efficiency right there. Join us for another great drive next week. But in the meantime, I think it's about time I get my hands dirty. And someone said something about chickens. You're fortunate if you got time to eat. We picked up our Lexus in the Gold Coast, but the real journey began in Evans Head. We then took a drive north to Ballina, where we visited the Big Prawn and stopped for a bite to eat. After this, we continued up to Byron Bay, spending the night at Ray's, before ending the journey at the farm. All up, the drive is just over an hour or close to 80 kilometres. Next week on the show, Trent goes back to the future and looks at how people are breathing new life into classic cars with electric conversions. That's next week on Drive.